What is up people my name is Teja and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to recover deleted files from your computer or from your SD card through Wondershare Recover It software. Now please do note that by using this software you can recover up to 100 MB data for free and if you want to recover more than 100 MB data you have to purchase this software. In order to download this software Copy the link which I'll be giving in the description below and paste it into your browser search bar and hit enter. Now uh, just download the file. This is basically an installation file for recover it. The file is of 36.7 MB so it doesn't take much time to be downloaded. Once the download is done, open the downloaded file. Now you'll see an installation wizard like this. Select your language and click on OK. Click on next, I accept the agreement, next and then choose the directory where you want the recovery to be stored. I'll be letting it to be the default directory and then click on next, next and click on install. Once the installation is done, click on finish and that should bring up Wondershare recovery automatically on your screen like this. Now just wait until the software gets initialized and it gets start up. Alright, so this is how the software looks like and you can see various options over here. The first one says deleted files recovery. So if you want to recover any files that you have deleted by pressing the shift delete keys on your keyboard, you can use this option to recover those files. Second one says recycling bin. So if you have deleted some files from the recycling bin, you can basically use this option. The third one is formatted hard disk. Um, basically, if you have formatted a hard disk, an external hard disk, you can use this option to recover it. And then lost partition recovery. So basically if you deleted any partition from your computer, you can recover it using this option. External devices recovery. If you have a flash drive or a USB drive or an SD card, you can use this option to recover the files from those external devices. And then virus attack data recovery. You will be able to recover deleted files, which, which are deleted due to a virus attack. System crash data recovery, you'll be able to delete your files which have been deleted due to a system crash. And all round recovery is basically a combination of all these things. Alright, in this video let me show you a demo of how I can recover a deleted file from my SD card or from my USB drive. So let me open my file explorer and I will show you. I currently have an SD card attached to my computer. This is the SD card and inside it I have some folders and files. So look at this file. This is a picture of a cute dog. So in this video I'm going to shift delete this file which means I'm going to permanently delete this picture of the dog and I'm going to use this software to recover this picture of the dog. Alright. Now let me hold shift delete and I'm going to delete this permanently. So now the file is gone and it is not even present in the recycling bin. Now I'm going to show you how to use this software to recover this file. So since this is an external device which is an SD card, I'm going to select this option which says external devices recovery. Now simply click on next and here it shows you all the available list of external removable devices which are attached to your computer. Since I only have one which is uh, the memory card named as EOS underscore digital. I'll be selecting that it comes selected by default. So anyways, just select the external device which you want to recover and just click on start. Now this is going to perform a simple scan and you might have to wait until the scan is fully complete. So let me get back to you once the scan is fully complete. So once the scan is complete, you will see the list of all the files which you can recover from your external device. Now you can select any file and once you do so you can see the preview of that file in this area over here. If you could see this is the picture of the dog which I have deleted and which I want to recover. So once you have found the file which you want to recover, just select it and click on recover. Once you click on recover you will see a pop up like this where it shows you different subscription packages. Over here you can see that the free package allows you to recover up to 100 MB for free. So. Since this photo is will not be probably more than 100 MB, you can see that the size here is 208 KB. I will be able to recover it for free. So just click on evaluate and over here select a path to record the saved file or to recover the saved file. So in this case I will be doing it in my I think I'll be doing it in my desktop. So I'll go to users 
and I'll be selecting my desktop. So I'm recovering this file to my desktop. So once you have selected the path to where you want the recovered file to be saved, just click on recover. And there you go, it has successfully recovered and once it is recovered, you can see that the path where the recovered file is saved will be opened up automatically in the file explorer. So let me open this folder and there you go. This is the file which I have deleted. This is the picture of this cute little dog which I have deleted and which I wanted to recover. And here you go, I have recovered it successfully using Wondershare Recovery. So you can recover as many files as you wish up to 100 MB if you are using a free package. If you have a file which is more than 100 MB and if you want to recover that file, you can purchase any one of the subscription plans to recover such files. I'll be putting a promo code in the description below which will offer you a bit of discount. So go ahead and you can use that promo code. Alright, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you in some or the other way. Hope you learned something new. And yep, meet you in the next video. Until then, cheers.